الحمد للہ الحمد للہ السلاۃ والسلام علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ How are you? I hope you all are doing good. So uh, today um, we have lesson 39. And in last two uh, sessions, we uh, you learned family 7 and family 8. Family 7 is Bab Infi'al and family 8 is Bab Ifti'al. Uh, as you know, uh, whenever we do one or two families, uh, what we have been doing for last a couple of sessions, the, uh, we do, uh, we learn family, uh, a particular families, for example, fi family five or family six. And then we'll, uh, we also learn uh, about the characteristic of that family. Uh, Characteristic of a, of a particular family means rhetorical implication, uh, means when words come through the, that family, like when words come through family seven and eight, uh, what, uh, what is the uh, difference or what, what is the impact of that family on, uh, on the meaning of that word? And also uh, on the apparent structure of that family, uh, word. So on this page, we have some surf characteristics. Surf character characteristics means on the structure of, uh, on the formation of that word, of these words that come from family seven and eight. So structurally, both families are called Hamza, Hamza family. Why? Because uh, uh, Hamza is there, extra Hamza. Extra Hamza is there uh, in past tense, Masdar and Fele Amar in both of these family. Look, the Inqalaba is past, uh, past tense for family seven. So there is uh, ex extra Alif or this, this is also called Hamza Tul Vassal because, uh, because this is a... Uh, this is not uh, Hamzatul, Hamza Qatai. Hamza Qatai uh, has this symbol on, on it. When Hamza Qatai is there, we have this symbol on it. And when Hamza Qatai is not, it's Hamza Vasli, then we don't have this symbol, Hamza, on the alif. Okay. So here, uh, what we have, Hamza in the past tense, then um, this uh, Hamza in Masdar and in the command, commanding fail in Qalib. The same is for family eight also. In past tense, Iqtaraba, uh, extra Hamza, helper uh, Hamza or Hamza Wasl. And then uh, in, in Masdar form, and the, and the commanding or the fairly amal. So, so that's why these uh, both of these uh, families are called Hamza fam Hamzatul Wasl family. Okay, now, and uh, family seven. Family seven has extra noon and that extra noon is uh, in all of its form, in all patterns, all sigat. So we have a uh, noon here in Qalaba yan qalibu in Qalaban fahuwa mun qalibun. So you, you, you see noon everywhere in all forms, uh, past tense, present tense, masdar, then ism file. In uh, family seven, there are no passives. So uh, we don't have the second line. And then uh, in the commanding fail, uh, fail in nahi or forbidding, in the forbidding form and then the zar form, the place and time of the action. So all uh, these form, family seven has extra noon. And uh, family eight, in all of these places, family eight has extra ta, this extra ta. 
So family eight is uh, known as Hamza family as well as extra ta family and family uh, mm, family seven is called Hamza family as well as extra noon family. So this is about the structure, the formation of uh, uh, words from these families. Now we are moving on to the uh, um, rhetorical implication, like if effect of the family on the meaning of the word. So in family seven, as we already uh, learned uh, um, previous session in previous session, that mo uh, the words from family seven are always lazim. Lazim means intransitive. So actually, uh, in fact, in their active form, like in Kalaba is past, uh, past tense, active, past tense, active. Uh, in, in their active form, the meaning seems to be uh, of uh, passive form, to be turned around. In Kalaba, to be turned around. So this being turned around gives the meaning of a, pass, a, a passive uh, verb, but this is active form. So in this family, the meanings are like, uh, they give, uh, if even they are in active form, like Fele um, Madi Maruf and Fele Mudare Maruf. Maruf means uh, active form, the first line. Okay, so in both of these uh, forms, uh, the meaning of uh, that particular fail coming from family seven uh, gives the meaning of passive, uh, passive form. Like in fatara, to be split. Fatara means to break, to open, to break open. But in fatara, when uh, in uh, fatara, uh, uh, comes from seven se uh, family seven, then it becomes to be split. Kasara means it, like in kasara, in kasa, in kasara, Hamza and Noon are from the family. Uh, actual uh, root letters are kaf, uh, seen, and ra. Kasara means to break. In kasara, to be broken. Okay, act of breaking itself. Then, then we have sarafa. Sarafa means uh, to uh, go around or circulation, circulate around or uh, to turn around. In sarafa, turning away from. In sarafa, turn away from. Then, in Talaqa, going ahead, going ahead, S setting out for uh, towards something. So then in Kalaba, we already discussed Kalab, Kalaba means to turn, uh, to, to turn upside down in Kalaba, mm, turn around himself, the doer himself uh, to be turned around, to be turned around, okay? So the, the same the same characteristic here is, uh, here is the same characteristic in this heading, which is called intransitivity. And in Arabic, it is called luzum, the characteristics, characteristic of luzum. So the word uh, coming from this family are always lazim, intransitive, having no mafool. And just like Bab Karuma, Bab Karuma of Sulasi Mujarrad, family one, uh, in that family, uh, this effect is there, the, the, this thing is there, that the fail affects the doer and gives the meaning of passive in active form. Like in Sarafa. He turned himself. Okay. Imbaasa. He rose. He rose himself. If you uh, if you um, see the example from 
the Sulasi Mujarrat, family one. In Sarafa is from seventh family. Sarafa, which is coming, which is from family one, means he turned. Someone or something. When when the word uh, word is uh, with family one, Sarafa, Sarafa means. He turned someone or something. Now, here, the uh, effect of action is on something else. But in se uh, family seven, the effect of action or effect of turning is happening with the file himself, with the doer himself. Doer himself is turning around. Here, Baasa, ba ba um, family one, he raised, he raised someone or some something. He raised someone or something. But when it comes uh, from family seven, Imba'asa, he rose himself. So the rising is, the rising happens to, happening, uh, rising happens to the doer himself. Here, the uh, effect of uh, raising is, is on some someone or something else in family one. Now, the next characteristic. Next characteristic is uh, novelty. Novelty, we are, uh, this characteristic we have in our other families also, like family three, family four. And uh, no, this novelty is... Uh, like uh, origin of a different meaning. Origin of a different meaning. In uh, Arabic, this is called ibtida. The term is ibtida. So the, it means to give a new meaning to a word, which was not present in family one. Family one or Solasi Mujarrat. Why we are going back to family one every time? Because in the, when whenever whenever we see uh, we, we look for uh, for the meaning of a word in a dictionary, first thing that uh, that we see is the meaning from family one, and that's the original like original meaning. We can say that because it is family one, so that's the most common and original meaning. So. That's why we are comparing the meaning of a particular root letter in family one and the meaning of uh, the same root letter in another family. And here today in family seven. So ta uh, talaka, talaka, when it is coming from uh, family one, it means uh, to go apart uh, or uh, to get separated. Right, he separated someone or something. Talaka. In talaka, the app altogether different meaning. He set out. He set out. He went. He he took away or he went somewhere. So, or started going somewhere. So in talaka, like in uh, Surah Kaha, fan talaka, they both set out uh, on a journey. Okay. So, so here the uh, meaning is completely different. Separation and setting out for, for a journey. Now the second example is uh, baga. Ba root letter ba gain and wa ba he disobeyed he disobeyed so in family one the meaning is disobeying but in family seven imbaga means it was appropriate imbaga means it was appropriate la yambagi most of the time uh, we see this word la yambagi it was not appropriate so la yambari means it was not appropriate. So again, the meaning is completely different. Disobeying uh, in family one, the meaning is disobeying. And in family seven, uh, it was appropriate to be appropriate. Okay. 
so this uh, uh, family seven uh, um, not so many words come from family seven and we don't see family seven uh, so frequently in uh, in quran park uh, so these are some of the characteristic like two yeah two characteristics of uh, family seven if, and this is very important to uh, to keep in mind that the the, uh, the um, words from this family are always lazim so we don't have the second form we don't have the second form now moving on to now moving on to family 8 family 8 iqtaraba yaqtaribu iqtiraban fa huwa muqtaribun so extra ta with a helper um, uh, hamza so in this family also um, not all but mostly uh, usually failed uh, the word words coming from this family are lazim like they don't take a uh, maful bihi and another characteristic uh, characteristic is of hyperbole or uh, mubalga exager exaggeration so uh, the word samia samia from uh, family 1 sulasi mujarrad means hear to hear just hearing whereas the word istama istama is from family 8 means to listen carefully so there is an in, uh, intensity or ahtimam in the emphasis in the meaning to listen carefully. And uh, here are some examples from uh, family eight. Right? To trust. So etbar uh, we we know this word in urdu etbar karna then uh, another example is ikhtalafa yakhtalifu ikhtilafan fa huwa mukhtalifun to disagree to disagree with someone or something. This ikhtilaf is mutaddi. That's why it is written that usually they are uh, lazim, they are intransitive, but not always. So ikhtilafa is mutaddi. Mutaddi means um, transitive, taking an object or mafulundi. Then ijtama'a yajtami'u ijtima'an. Uh, together to come together okay then intazara yantaziru intazaran fahuwa muntazirun to wait for someone to wait uh, and uh, you would appreciate that the, uh, almost all these words we know in urdu it's uh, so common use like bab iftial it's so common uh, so so many words from Bab Iftial uh, we use in Urdu also. So intakhaba yantakhibu intikhaban fahua muntakhibun. Intikhab. To choose, to elect. Intikhab, to elect, to choose. Okay. So um, the characteristic as we uh, just... Uh, learn that uh, there is hyperbole or emphasis in the meaning ihtimam in the um, action is done with some uh, intensity and uh, we can call ihtimam jahada for example jahada family one salasi mujarrad sulasi mujarrad he tried okay jahada from sulasi mujarrad he tried. Ijtahada. He tried hard. So there is intensity in uh, meaning, uh, intensity in the meaning. Ijtahada. Kasaba to un. Kasaba 
uh, he earned ek tasaba he earned the hard way he earned the hard way so these are uh, some characteristics of family eight not uh, so many but uh, today we discuss family seven and family eight and inshallah next in next session we are going to do a uh, family nine if you have any question you can ask me i'm going to stop the recording now assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh